What's up, boy family? Way back to the video. Welcome back to another video, guys. And as you guys know, I'm here with my beautiful daughter, Scarlett. And guys, my dad said him have a father, and I don't know that. Then. <laughs> So you don't think I have a father? No, I never see you have a father. So you think I don't have a father at all? No, you don't. Do you have a father? Who's your father? Daddy. Exactly. So you don't think I have a father? No. Alright, so guys, listen. Um, Welcome back to another video. I'm here at Scarlet, as you guys and know. And baby brother. And my baby boy is right here. My wife and London, they went to and the store. Dad. My parents, mom, and London are recording. Yeah, they're doing a vlog for my baby's channel right now. So definitely go subscribe to All About Leanna to see their part of their vlog. I think she's about to do some decorating. You know, my baby's really talented when it comes to decorating. Guys. And her dad, Casey, was sore. So buy every single her wine. Everything. She, you know, you know she go crazy. You gonna go crazy like that? Yeah, buying soy. <laughs> But guys, listen, this is a topic that I've been wanting to talk about because it's weighing heavy on my chest lately, right? And um, hearing my daughter saying that I don't have a father, it kind of like touches Yeah, like me. you don't. How him have a father? Like you don't, God, you don't. I have a, fa I have a father, either, no, you don't. either grandfather. No, I'm you, grandfather. I'm you, my grandfather. <laughs> well, I'm going to be your grandfather. <laughs> yeah, you are. Huh? That means no grandfather. That means there's no grandfather? They, all right, let's go over it, okay? So, guys, listen. This right here is is basically because my daughter don't know my dad, right? And it's a long story, but I think I'm going to speak on it briefly. That's so sorry. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, baby. But I learned from you. Me too. Yes. Me too. You stutter sometimes, too. But I never saw them no more. Oh, you don't saw them no more? No. Okay. I'm a bigger. You're bigger? <laughs> yeah. I never. And. Oh, okay, you're bigger. So you start, you, you don't pee in bed no more. <laughs> you mad that I exposed that you, you pee in bed when you were smaller? <laughs> so you don't pretend that you pee in bed when you were smaller. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not gonna tell him, okay? So guys, I'm not gonna tell you guys that Scar used, used to pee in the bed when she was. Dad, I just <laughs> You want the baby up? Don't want the baby up, okay? So listen, um, lately I've been weighing heavy on my chest that I want to reach out to my father. I'm thinking about it. I think I'm just gonna do it. And you gonna meet your grandfather one day, Scarlett. You know? You see this? You nose? Don't have Wait, hold on. You see this nose right here that you have and I have? It's a signature nose that's coming from my father. Yeah, my father. You don't have a father, as I said. All right. Okay, I'm going to show you, you a picture. I'm gonna show you, I never show you a picture of my father? No, I don't remember. All right. Let me show you a picture of my father real quick. You don't have a phone. Wait, my phone is upstairs. Anyway, I'm going to show you later. But anyways, guys, so my daughter really believes I don't have a father. So let's give a quick story. Um, about my father's situation. I didn't raise my father at all. I raised I, my I, mom. I do remember you saw, you saw me him, but I don't remember, like, I heard him. Before. You never heard him before. I never talked to him, right? So, um, long story short, right? I was raising my father, and my mom was going to raise us. I met my, I do met my father. I met my father when, this, this is what I heard. I think he left when I was like three years old or like th uh, six years old, I think. Wait, dad, you, um, your dad is in Jamaican? Hmm? Your dad is in Jamaican? My dad Jamaican? Yeah, he's fully Jamaican. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, like I have first, like me. You, I have Jamaican? Yeah. You're Jamaican and Puerto Rican? You don't want to be Puerto Rican? I want to be Jamaican. You want to be Jamaican? But <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the culture, babe. Yo. And I like Aksa, too. You like Aksa? <laughs> I like some beans. So you don't want um Puerto Rican food? No. Jamaican food only? Yeah. That means you can live in Jamaica then? Yeah. So I'm gonna send you to Jamaica to my dad, to your grandfather, okay? No, I'm not. You don't wanna go? No. All I'm right. going to Africa. Go to Africa? Who you know in Africa? Um you sell me, right? What? You sell me? I mean I said we are from Africa, our ancestors from Africa. But that doesn't mean that I know people in Africa. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go in Africa. 
<laughs> okay. So, God, listen, my baby was an old character right here. But listen, quick story again, Scarlett. I'm telling you right now. Wait. When I was younger, like you, growing up, my father left. He, I was a kid like you. I love my dad. I love my mom. And one day. And the father did not like you. Wow. No, yeah, I don't. Yeah, hear me out. I'm not sure if he didn't like me or what. If I should think of it that way, I'm going to blame myself, okay? So listen, in life, there are kids right now that don't have their father in their life right now. See, like how oh, you see me around you in London and baby Shane? There are kids right now that don't have a father to call to, okay? I was one of those kids. I will never, ever leave you, okay? You'll never be one of those kids. And God forbid if something happened to me, I might die. But otherwise from that, I'm always be in you guys' life. Okay. You never die? How do you die? White guys, how? <laughs> how? How? But hear me out. My dad leave when I was like your age. He left and I never seen him again. Okay, like for then years. knock on him door and say, I'm sorry, why do you, why you want to rap for me? Why? You want me to knock on his door and say, I'm sorry, why you want to leave me? Yeah. But let me tell you a story. So, when he left, um, I was a kid like you and I, I grew up, I think... I became 13 years old. Uh, Thank then you. he came back. He came back when I was 13 years old. And, um. Can we even then? Like, yeah, he ended up leaving again. But when he came when I was 13 years old, he came and gave me a phone. And, um. Where's the phone? I don't know. They, they robbed it. Somebody stole it from me. They stick me up with a gun, put a gun on me, and, and took the phone from me. But then so they did not die. No, there's evil people in this world. Not because they put a gun on me doesn't mean. I'm gonna die. If they shoot me, I could, I could have died, and you, there would be no scarlet. Cause if I had died, you'd have born. I die. I would die too. I was person so, shoot me, and then would die. So the, thank God the person didn't shoot me. They just take me with a gun and they rob my phone. But despite everything, um, you know, I grew. Up, How know you that a phone? Put it in your pocket and hide it. Cause I have an earphone. I was running track. I was running in the field by myself. Oh. And I got my earphone and somehow the music stopped playing and um, I heard somebody call me and I'm thinking that they need help because usually when a person are above the wall, sometimes they drop stuff on the floor and they act the kids, they come pick it up for them. So I'm thinking that this person need help. So me being a kind person I am, I went over to help and they end up robbing me. I walk over there, they put a gun on me, they said put your phone through the hole because there's a hole in the wall. They said put your phone through the hole. So the phone to go on the other side of the wall. So in life, I'm not saying don't help people, but be careful who you're helping. Because not every people that seek help is genuine. Maybe they got bad intention towards you that probably want to hurt you. You remember that movie? What movie? Like a guy, I mean a, a little boy and mm. then a person was bad. Yeah, the person was being bad to the little boy. That was a real life, you know, so I want you to be careful. It's pretty fake of you. No, the movie... Is the exaggerating yes. a movie? I'm not starting. I'm I'm pausing to think about what I'm gonna say. Not. Yes, I am. Let me think. Let me think, man. Let, me, let my brain relax. So I can think and talk. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, let me finish telling you. Sorry, let me finish telling you a story. So, I want you to understand and notice, right? In life, when people ask for help, you gotta be careful who you're helping, because sometimes they could use that to their advantage, to hurt you, to do bad things to you. And be careful. If you don't know the person, try to stay away. Stranger, danger. If the person is a stranger, you don't know them, you don't take a candy from them, you don't take no doll, no toys, you stay with your parents, you stay with grandma or grandpa, okay? But, let's talk about it right now. Long story short, I met my dad and um, he came, gave me the phone, they robbed my phone, but... Then buy another phone, you're rich, right? No, I'm not, I was a, I'm not rich, baby. But it's a, big, it's a beautiful big house that you're rich. So when they robbed my phone, I couldn't go just buy a phone, but bring my memories that... When I robbed my phone, right, even though my dad had left, he was there when they, they get in contact with my dad when they found out that they robbed my phone. He came back to where I used to live to defend the situation, if you know what I mean. So, despite everything that was going on, because over the years I noticed that I grew to the anger towards him. I, I raised with a really anger towards him that, and I was so proudful that my mom did it by herself. Getting to know my dad, after meeting him at 13 years old, and then I meet him after that, after I graduated high school. It's a whole story, I could go deep into it, but I'm just going to skip and give you a summary. I met my dad after high school, I met him before I came to America. That's in um, 2013, it was the last time I seen my dad, I spent time with my dad. 
and the relationship was cool despite he wasn't around the relationship was cool we laughed we had jokes we cried jokes whatever my aunt is the one who helped me um get to america which is my dad's sister so if, if it wasn't for my dad's side of family if it wasn't for my dad sister i wouldn't be in america right now so i started to think about it i'm like listen i want to have a relationship with my father despite everything the past in the past I would like to understand the situation, why he did what he did, but that doesn't matter no more. What matters right now is that life is precious and life is short, and I would like to have a real, genuine relationship with my dad. So, fast forward from that when I came to America, I haven't spoke to him because he didn't have a phone when I came to America, right? But a few years ago, now, I mean last year, I think last year around the summertime, I got in contact with him, and we were talking, trying to build a relationship again. And during the time we were building this relationship, I feel like he looked at me as a provider. And I wanted to build a relationship with him, not be a provider to him. So and I don't mind help him, helping out because I know Jamaica is really hard. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's really hard. So I will put out to help. I will send money to help, offering help, send money here and there. But I know it's become a habit. And then if I don't have it, or if I don't have what he's requesting, for example, he might request that I need three hundred dollars right now, and I said probably one fifty. It become a whole switch. He started arguing, and I'm getting bored, baby. I'm sorry, but he started arguing. I even started to send threats, and that's why I keep my distance again. That's why I, I fall back from trying to build a relationship with my dad. So, no one right now. I think I want to try again to actually build a relationship with him, even. From a distance, let's start from a distance, so we can get to know each other all over again. Because I don't think he yeah, respect the fact that I'm a grown man now. Because I, the stuff that he used to say, and we used to argue and send threat, the stuff he say towards me, even for me not picking up my phone, it was too crazy for me, and that's why I kept my distance. And I think now I really think I really want to reach out to my dad. You so bored? I'm sorry, baby. You know, I think I, will, I really want to reach out to, to my dad and try again for this relationship. You know, because despite the negative side of it, when he's happy, when, we, when we're chilling, we're talking, it's really a, a happy vibe. He crack jokes. Most of my sense of humor really comes from my dad. So um, that's really my dad's side. So it's okay, Papa. You want to hold him? You think you can hold a baby? Yeah, I could. You sure? Yeah, I could. All right, here, hold on. I right, lean back so you don't fall. Lean all the way back. And um, hold him right there. Oh, oh, and hold his head. Yeah. Looks like that. Hold him the baby? Yeah! <laughs> all right, guys, so listen, I think having my son made me realize that a relationship with my dad is important, even if it's at a distance, you know? And maybe my dad doesn't need help. Maybe he need help to become a better person. But I could tell you what I felt during the situation. It was just too much negativity was putting towards me. And that's why I kept my distance again. But right now I feel like um, I want to kind of like reach out to him again. And probably start a relationship with him. Let's see how it goes. It's not promised that it might be a good relationship. But for me guys, really and truly I'm all about peace. If there's a lot of negativity that been pushed towards me, I, I keep my distance away from it. Anything that have me stressing, have me thinking about, and have me under pressure, I like to stay away from it. And during those times when I was trying to build that relationship with my dad last year, the summer, talking to him on the phone and the, the, the cursing and the talking crazy was just too much for me, because I'm not a kid no more. And um, that's why I kept my distance. And I know a lot of guys didn't even notice because I try not to even speak on it. But guys, having my son right now, it made me really think about my relationship with my dad. And, you know, a lot of kids right now even feeling that stuff right now where their father is not around. And Scholar, you're privileged. Not say you're privileged, that's how it should be. Your dad should always be in your life. But some kids didn't have that privilege to have their father around where they could run hey, to daddy, mom. Somebody saw me the picture right now. I can see I'm, where you're talking about. I'm going to show you a picture. I can't put my phone right now. When I go upstairs, I'm going to find it and show you a picture of my dad. But, um, yeah. Um, sit back, guys. I'm going to keep you guys updated. I just want to put it out there that, um, what do you guys think? Because I know um, a big part of my life is YouTube, which is you guys, my family, my wife, my family back home. I love you guys, and I feel like 
a relationship with your dad is important, but I don't want a toxic relationship. I don't want a relationship that's gonna drain me. I have too much going on to add, to add more pressure and more drainage to my life. So that's why I kept my distance and that's why I'm nervous about But I'm gonna give it another try. Like looking at my son, I'm just picturing me being my younger self and my dad in my shoes. Like what happened? Something happened somewhere that make him feel like he want to distance himself from me. I'm not saying Jamaica life is easy. Something you get yourself in some stuff that you're not, you're not expected and you're forced to do certain stuff. But to be honest, man, let's make a change. Let's make a change for the better. Let's make it a better place. And to make it a better place, we have to start working on ourselves and try to be the bigger person. So I'm going to try and be the big person again. And let's see how, the, how it goes. So tomorrow, I'm going to reach out to him. And I'm actually going to show you guys and see how it goes. So that's going to be a big step. And baby, tomorrow you might heard your grandfather voice you excited you ready to meet your grandfather or no no you don't know him right i'm so scared i want you to know all your family i want you to know all your family back home i want to be able to take a trip to jamaica and my i feel so happy and comfortable taking my kids and my wife to all my family members i don't want to be taking my kids and family to Jamaica and to fellow members and I feel like I have to be on defense. I don't want that. I don't want that. And then it's like I have to get myself out of character to defend my family or defend myself at that. You know, so I think it's best we start with having an understanding and I think that would actually build some respect. Where you I understand him, he understand me, and then we can go from there. So tomorrow I'm gonna reach out to your grandfather. I'm going to try to reach out again. My grandfather is coming? He's not going to come. He's in Jamaica. Oh. You know, that's my grandmother's son. My grandmother that you guys know from the Bronx that I used to um, live with, that's her son. So I'm really cool with his mom, which is my grandmother. So it's like, I have to try and be there for him too. I want to like um, see how things go. Just to be religious from a distance, man. Because this way from that, it probably be a good thing. You know, it could probably be a good thing in store. So, how you feel? I never saw you the picture, but I remember you saw me the picture, but I never... My dad, before. my dad looked at me. No, you don't. Yeah. You want him to find out here? I remember you sent me a picture. Him. You got no ear? <laughs> so, well, the younger dad, my younger dad looked at me. Now he looks different, so um, stay tuned. I'm going to show you a picture right now. All right, guys, so look. Hold the baby. All right, should I lay him down? Okay. You sure? <laughs> you love your baby brother? Alright guys, so listen, um, I found a video, I didn't find a picture of my dad, so I found a video with me showing a picture of when I was in my grandma's house. Yeah. Before you guys go, it's my dad right here. Yeah, that's my dad. You know that? That's him? Mm-hmm. That's not him, See, look. That's him? That's my dad. And look at... He's so mad. Look so mad? <laughs> I can about to suck you and go poop. <laughs> Because, I don't know, maybe he was mad. Like, poop, 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 And you see, he got a lot of jewelry. He got rings on. He rich? I guess he used to be rich. He got jewels all over his finger. Five fingers got jewelry. But how you say that? Oh, if you fix it and then you pull yeah, it? Yeah, pull it. He even got jewelry on his ankle. He got yeah. chains all over his neck. So my dad was living good. You know, my dad was living great, man. And, um... That's when I was a baby. I was young. So, um, you're going to meet your grandfather, man. At least you're going to hear him talk. Okay, baby? But first, let me create a relationship with him first. Yeah, listen, um, I want you guys to comment, give your feedback. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. And, um, yeah, with that being said and done, hope you guys enjoy this video. I want you guys to like, share, subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye, guys. Bye, baby. So, how do you feel? I'm very good. Would you like to meet your grandfather one day? Yeah. One day? Yours, but no. I don't hurt him. I hurt Would you like to know him or no? Yeah. Yeah? Wonderful, my dad. Wouldn't be me. Wouldn't be you. Wouldn't be Papa. Let me lay him down in the bed. Give me. Oh, it's fine. Let me lay him in the bed. Oh. Why? I love him.
don't want to. <laughs> I love you, baby. But listen, guys, we're going to see you guys in the next video. We love y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We want you to like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. And click on the video, guys. Click on it. Click on it. Peace out.